And we're back with the K1 World Grand Prix 2020 Japan Ryogoku Kokugi Khan. We've got some K1 Super Bantamweight action here for you. In the red corner, Junki Sasaki taking on. In the blue, Liamu. I'm Brian. And I'm Ross. Let's break this down. So the younger man by nine years is Liamu at the age of 20. And they're both similar height, 170 centimeters. So that's going to make things interesting. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the, probably the big difference here would be that uh, Sasaki in the red is coming off of a career, former career as a boxer. So even though he's only had three <gasps> fights um, here as a kickboxer, he's probably got quite a bit of experience. Um, well, there you go, as a, as a standing fighter, just in a bit of a different Ooh, A little bit of uh, shenanigans on the inside there, bending him back by the head. Yeah, no love lost right off the bat. <laughs> oh, no, they woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. You notice there, we've got a nice south force stance versus a nice orthodox stance, so that's always quite interesting to see, the power shots will flow. Yeah, both, both these guys real light on their feet, right off the bat. You know, Liamu uh, is a big kicker, and he's had some big knockouts of his feet. Um, see, he's going for the low leg kicks there, but coming over the top of the combo. And he fancies his chance to box himself. Oh! Beautiful left, taking his time to get up. Yeah, great, great long shot there from Sasaki. Stepping in deep on that. Very deep. Well, his nickname is Solid Punch, I do believe, and he's proving it earlier. Look, you can tell he's, uh, wow, the boxing mentality's come out of those rabbit punches in the match there. Yeah, yeah, he had a lot of punching here in this match, but even more so than you typically see him. We said earlier, a little bit, a little bit dirty, a little bit of shenanigans occurring there in the middle of the ring. Uh, Rumu's trying to, trying to get in close where those punches can't find their bite points. Trying to, trying to ride out the storm to get clear. Yeah, there's some, there's gonna be some warnings uh, doled out here. The flow of the action cannot occur. There's too much punching. Yeah, going back at it. Very cheeky pick up stairs there. Yeah, Lee, Lee would be well served. It looks like he's got his um, uh, bearings back, but stick the jab and the front kick, and yeah, avoid that mid mid range where yeah, those punches bite best. Rimu is very experienced there in the way he didn't just try and jump up the feet didn't hurt him. He took his time getting up. He closed that distance. And I think it's paid off. He's looking clear here. Yeah, these guys are wasting a lot of energy um, sort of just grappling there in the middle of the ring. It'd be better serve to just push away and let the strikes go. Now he doesn't want to be there, he doesn't want his back in the corner of him, he needs to evolve away. So at the moment, he's had to commit to go revolve. Yeah, and, you know, he's seen there, Sasaki found some jabs that from the long range that were quite landing. Those are great opportunities, yep, for Liam to throw some kicks, uh, carry the shot, and then come back with the kick. Love the spin. Just real ugly on the inside. Ooh, another solid shot. Yep. And those rabbit punches cheekily going. The rest for his. Yeah, the ref's got his work cut out tonight. He really has. He's going to earn his money. Yeah. These two are quite spirited, shall we say. Oh, man, yeah. I don't, I don't see things getting any cleaner. Oh, oh wow. we've got a card. Oh, surprising. Yeah. I figured they'd both be getting that there. I thought so. Yeah. I don't think Sasaki's being any cleaner in there. No, they're both as bad as one another, but you know, I guess <laughs> someone's got to taste it first. Oh, he was doing a good job there of um, taking away a bit of the opportunity for the left straight by sticking his lead hand underneath, giving Sasaki something to think about. But yeah, he's got to shut that left straight down, not get trapped in the corner, because that thing is solid. It is. He lives up to his nickname. That was the second time we really moved a tried an uppercut, actually. And it, he's obviously seen something there as mm. Sasaki comes in. Um, be interesting to see what he does with his knees. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Sasaki has to start his attacks generally at the longer range. To, he's got to work his way in, so the team can use his, his front kick and his jab a little bit more. Ooh, yeah, the flush. Roll in. Very flush. He's got to create roadblocks and not let Sasaki just drive in like that. 100%. If you're going to be within range, then keep your guard up. 
<laughs> you know, it's as simple as that. Um, seemed like he had a, a little bit of a moment there trying to actually get the range correct and it, it didn't work for him. Well, I'm surprised, man. I mean, that was such a devastating blow there. Good on Diamo getting you know, being able to get back up after that thing. That was a hard punch. Yeah, to be fair, you, you deserve points for that. Yeah, he got stars. But he's back on it. Yeah, he is looking clean. He is. He's looking like he's back with it. Cool to go. If he can draw Sasaki in, he can land some counter shots, some knees underneath. Ooh, he's not eat kicks anymore. Sasaki did such a great job of cutting off the rear end of the position. Uh, really, really upset the road from the corner. Really needs to hold his ground a little bit more. Even though know, Sasaki's not quite as sharp with his kickboxing skill set, you say. He's got, you can tell he's just got a ton of experience in the game. You know, his hands are great. So very good. Yeah, so a little bit more standoff there, just on the range a little bit, but once you hit, he's easily put in the corner. He's got to move. There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah you know, I, I, Liam, he's doing a good job of controlling the distance, but he's got to start racking up some points. He's got to let his hands go. He's got to find some attacks that will find a home. Um, otherwise, he's, he's coming. It's, it's in such a deficit right now. Oh, that's a nice move there. And it's really got Liamu's thinking and hesitating a little bit. Thinking more about what the doing rather than himself. Well, you can see experience. I mean, those little shots that he throws in the punch, they're just annoying and frustrating. And I think Sasaki's just initially was in Liamu's head a little bit. Yeah. The more that the spike was on like this, the more confidence the Liamu was getting back. But yeah, he's got to start finding something to find a home. Go to those kicks. Don't punch him the punch. Kick the punch. Absolutely. You do not want to step into this guy's world. You want him to step into the real world. Fight for your way. Clinch, clinch up when you're close. Push away. Let some kicks go. Take that movement away. Uh, at this point, Sam's got some great feet. And he's so very awkward. So wow, and he is as dirty as can be in the clinch, too. <laughs> oh, come on. What's going to go? What's the, what's the ref going to do this oh, yeah, time? Yep, I am, I am honestly curious. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it just oh. seems one-way traffic at the moment. Yeah, oh, yeah. no, no, no. Okay. He's going to get a telling off. Right. Just, getting, uh, just getting a warning there. No yellow card. It's a good surprise, but oh, all right. Surprise. Rimu has definitely thought to himself, I can't believe I fell for you getting into my head in the first round. Yeah. Now I'm uh, now I'm on my bike here. Yeah, he's way more composed. He's looks good. Awesome. Look, look, cheeky. Kind of left hook. Yeah, Cheeky's timing him on the way in. And look, he's kicking. Yes, now he needs it exactly. The counters off the hands need to flow in the kicks. Absolutely. Knees as well. <laughs> he's got him in a head there. <laughs> Oh, this is beginning to look a bit like a ballroom ball sometimes. Yeah, there's some, there's some, uh, there's some mental, mental games going on in there. Yeah, there really is. They really trying to drop each other. Instead of just clinching up and letting the ref separate, he's using his form and prying his head back and everything he can. He's trying to disrupt not just his mental uh, side, but he's trying to disrupt his breathing pattern, all these other things. So, uh, there's no, the there's no break in there for him. <laughs> no, the no. Which is not a break. On the other hand, it's a horrible, messy place to be. <laughs> very, very ugly. Very Sasaki, ugly. Is Sasaki only uh, 29 years old, but fighting like that, like a dirty, dirty old man in there. He really is. I mean, it's definitely resembling more of a boxing ring at the moment than a K1 ring. But uh, you think Sasaki had his guard up? I think Udimu's corner is going to be saying, listen. You know, you, you've done well, you've recomposed yourself, you're not falling into his game plan. But there's still moments when this guy is imposing himself on you. And as you said, he's got to use those hands correctly to get the kicks in there. You can't fight this guy's fight. And it's not that he was like being terribly outclassed here. He's kind of skipping. You know, you know the, it's the experience and it's the nastiness of Sasaki that's thrown him off. And hey, you know, that, that's good on Sasaki because that is. That's fair game. That's how that's how the fight game goes. If you get away with it. You do get away with it. And he is getting away with it. That's for sure. He hasn't had a yellow card yet until. Yeah, 
uh, they make him tough up in Hokkaido. Yeah, he, he, brings, uh, he brings some extra elements to the ring, so anyone who's going to have to fight him down the line will be well served and see how this match goes and learn from him. Very nice. <laughs> oh my word. He's not backing down, but yeah. It's, it's I thought he was going to break into a waltz at one point. <laughs> Yeah, these guys will be very familiar with each other after this one. Oh, yeah. He is, he is simply, mm. he wants to stick to boxing, and the moment the range is closed, he's going to maul his man. I'm going to go those leg kicks. Ooh, here he is, he's just mauling him. He's not letting any kind of recovery take place. Not at all. Mm, oh, beautiful nice downstairs. Look there, yep. Absolutely on the side of the liver, too. He's just looking to, to get that liver buzz, get all those toxins flowing out. What he did there that was smart, you know, he threw the combo and he just was right into close range, so there was no time for him to land on the other Absolutely. But Rimu's coming back now himself. He's got a good punch game as well. He counters on the outside. You know, it's just. It's this kind of in-fight position. He's not able to exert much dominance. Yeah, he's hung at the wrong ranges at some point during this fight. It's not really worked for him. Mm -hmm. Sasaki just playing with the dirty pitch game. It's taking away Niamu's ability to toss his knees as well. Mm -hmm. This last minute is going to be exciting, I'm telling you. These two fellas are, are definitely up for it now. Well, there's a nice one okay, you know, this is the type of fight you'd like to see another two rounds of an extension. Uh, even though, really, Sasaki's got the knockdown scenes so for sure up on the cards. I just want to take two more just so we can really see it hashed out. That would be terrific. Because you see, we're now to the center of the ring, and he's looking to push the action a little bit. So I wonder if he's sensing that maybe Sasaki is a little bit, a little bit tired, or he's just feeling like he's got to make an impression. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you, you know, Rimu, just being 20 years old here, re regardless of how this thing turns out, this is a huge learning experience for me. Yeah. On the big stage with uh, just a, a brutal, nasty opponent <laughs> who's just waging war on all the different levels. Absolutely, absolutely. The mental level, the physical level. Sucking, yeah, giving give it to him like an animal lector, man. Yeah, there's something like the sadist in this man. Yeah, yeah, something no like doubt. The but look, you know, Ian was kind of said, okay, you want to play it this way? I'm happy yeah. to play it this way. And he's on the front foot again. I feel like the ref's been a little bit unfair to Ian here. I, 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 I 100% yeah. agree, man. It's, I'd say a lot of what he's done is in response to Sasaki, yes. and, um, and he's getting punished for it. Beautiful overhand, though. Look at that. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> 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 Mm. I'd love to see a few more rounds of that. Just yes. for entertainment value, you know. You know, it's great uh, Sasaki with the huge blow in the first round. But Niamu, it's it's kind of a story to watch him. You, you know, it's only three rounds, but you can I, I just can I can imagine here. He's this is a big stage for him. A little bit nervous. He had uh, the aggressive, older, more experienced guy um, all over him, and. Over the course of these two rounds, like there's a lot that he's learned, man. He's gained a lot of confidence. He finally was coming back. Like this is, even even if you get a loss on your record, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, elements here that are a big win for him because of the experience he walks away with. Hundred percent. I mean, Suzuki, you know, I think he's done enough here. But what you've seen, as you point out with Ian, oh, he walks the boy and he's coming out, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 This has been vital for his Jatsi career. ジャッジ well, you got you got to uh, you got to get to Sasaki too, man. If that dude wants to win, no. he will wage war on all the levels. He has got no motivational problems whatsoever. The passion is there, along with a heavy dose of fire. I think the referee is going to go backstage now and just kind of put his feet up and yeah. try and get over that. <laughs> yeah. I think he's probably had the harder time. Wow, well, well, um, he will he will be one to watch. Uh, he, both of these guys will be uh, fun to watch down the line. I think Miyamu is yeah just developed 
immensely over the course of these last two rounds. And he, he can go back, he's going to walk safe, and he's going to realize to himself, wow, I, I allowed him to, to totally bring me out of my rhythm, mm -hmm. I allowed him to get to my head, mm -hmm. you know, I, I practically lost so many exchanges there based on that. Yep, and this, this is where the iron is forged, man, right here in the heat of battle. Um, no better experience, you know, and hopefully no injuries, so uh, he can just get right back to the drawing board. And uh, yeah, big, I think big things from both of them. Absolutely. Very respectful there. You see, he's, he's a very respectful guy, very yeah. cool and calm at the moment. That bell goes. Oh, <laughs> he's so real. Well, uh, and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the K1 World Grand Prix 2020 Japan at the Ryogoku Kukukikan. We will see you next time. Yeah.